This unit is about momentum, energy, work, and power. This lesson is about momentum and impulse. Momentum is considered the quantity of motion and is defined as the product of an object's mass and velocity. Momentum is a vector quantity. So momentum is a mass times velocity, and if we write this out like a normal equation, we will write P equals MV. That's right, P stands for momentum. Nobody knows why. M is mass, V is velocity. Let's take a look at the units for momentum. Um, mass, we always measure in kilograms. Velocity, we always measure in meters per second. So if we take an amount of kilograms and multiply it by an amount of meters per second, we're, we end up with kilogram meters per second. There's no special unit for this. Uh, we just say kilogram meters per second, and we write kgm over s. Here's an example of, of a simple momentum problem. What is the momentum of a 65 kilogram student running with a velocity of 4.5 meters per second? Well, P equals MV. Plug in the mass and the velocity. We find that the momentum of this student is 292.5 kilogram meters per second. Now I want to introduce this other term, impulse. You guys remember Newton? A equals F net over M. Remember when we did kinematics, A was delta V over T? Hmm. Both of those things equal A. Therefore, both of those things equal each other. And if we cross multiply, we'll get F net T equals M delta V. And both of these terms are very important. M delta V can also be called delta P, the change of momentum. If an object changes velocity, it will have more or less momentum than it used to have. And F net T is defined as impulse. That's right, capital J is impulse. Why? Nobody knows. Let's take a look at the units for impulse. F net, any force, is measured in newtons. Time is measured in seconds. And so if we plug in newtons and seconds, we get newton seconds. Let's take a closer look. A newton if you remember, is a kilogram meter per second squared. If we multiply this by a second, one of the seconds in the denominator cancels and we're left with kilogram meters per second, which is what we should expect. If impulse is equal to change in momentum, then the impulse units, newton seconds, should be the same thing as the momentum units, kilogram meter per second, and that's exactly what we see here. Let's take a look at an example of an impulse problem. How much impulse is being applied to a baseball when it is struck by a bat if the bat exerts a force of 37,000 newtons on the ball and they are in contact for only two thousandths of a second? Here we go. J equals F net T. Plug in the 37,000 newtons and the 0 .002 seconds, and we'll find that the impulse applied to the baseball was 74 newton seconds. Now it's time for the make your own Sunday bar. Um, actually, make your own equation bar. Here we have four terms that are all equal to each other. This, however, is not an equation. An equation has one equal sign and a term on either side. So what we're going to do is pick two of these to create an equation. The first step will be to make a list of givens. The next step will be to select two of those terms based on our givens and our unknown. We'll set those terms equal to each other, and we'll solve. Let's take a look at an impulse momentum problem where we have to use the make your own equation bar. A car's momentum increases by 5,000 kilogram meters per second in 2.5 seconds. How much force must have been applied to the car during that time? So first, we'll start with our list of givens. We know that the change in momentum is 5,000 kilogram meters per second. We know that the time it takes is 2.5 seconds, and we know that we're looking for the force. Now we can make our equation. Since we're looking for the force, we should definitely use the F net T term as one of our two choices. Since we're given the change in momentum, we should make that our second choice. This means we'll write the equation delta P equals F net T. Now we can substitute in what we know and solve. 
5,000 kilogram meters per second equals F net times 2.5 seconds, and we find that the net force is 2,000 newtons.